Kevin Holland versus Michael Oleksiejczyk. Yeah, I think we both picked Holland, and I think we both picked him by finish. Um, I think I said maybe said TKO or something, but um, Kevin Holland's the boy, dude. Oleksiejczyk, I really like. Um, but going into this, we talked about how Oleksiejczyk is uh, he goes forward heavy, uh, and he swarms you with punches, and he doesn't let you breathe. But Kevin Holland is still very good at moving backwards and striking moving backwards. Um, and we were like, I think he could probably catch him uh, as he comes mm-hmm. in. He's a sniper. Instead, it was Oleg Sechek that catches him as he throws a high kick. And he drops yep. him immediately. Uh, it was a fantastic shot. I think it was an overhand left as uh, yep. Kevin Holland threw the high kick. Um, drops him. Hits the ground hard. Jumps in to a triangle, which is then transitioned to an armbar immediately yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. i think there's a picture of the uh the uh the him i took a screenshot because look there was like one photographer i think of, on this card and there's a lot of missed shots um so i took a lot of screenshots from fights on this slideshow um uh, there's the left right there off the high kick that drops him and then the next picture is literally him uh in the submission already um because <laughs> it was immediately after that there's a textbook call an ambulance, but not for me. I'm yeah. Uh, Great job for uh, look at uh, slipping the arm under the leg there. Uh, position yeah, gets you submission, right? And so yeah, in this case, if you're like, Oleg he wants to take that left leg and step over the face of Kevin Holland. Um, mm-hmm. But Kevin Holland says, no, I don't let you do that. Uh, you're not, you don't have an exit that way. You're going to have to go the other way, which is a lot more awkward. Um, yep. But he did. He did go the other way. Uh, there he is, hooking the leg fully. Yeah, but, uh, and, and then, so for uh, Holland, right, the arm bar, as he has him in the arm bar, and you see him pulling back, did you see Holland? He says something to Oleg Sechek. Yeah, there's a picture. And he looks at Herb Dean and says something to Herb Dean. And then at a certain point, you see him go, all right. He shrugs his shoulders yeah. and says, okay. And you just see him hip up and yank back on the arm like crazy. There's a picture in here of that happening. Um, I think the next picture is him going the other way and then stepping over. And then that's him torquing on the arm. And then the next picture should be him yelling at Herb Dean. (laughs) (laughs) Brutal, dude. Brutal. And then he snaps the arm. I think it was probably a dislocation on the elbow, like um, Paul Craig versus Jamal Hill. I don't think it was actually broken. Mm. Um, I mean, who? Oh, my God. Look at that. Graphic image warning. Yeah, and then, but the the best part is um, after the, after he snaps it and Herb calls it, Oseshik's like, "What the hell, man? Why'd you stop that?" <laughs> yeah, I was like, "Dude, your arm's dangling right now." Yeah, brutal. Dude. Come on, absolutely brutal. Uh, I haven't seen anybody talk about this, but I believe um, this is the first joint submission or first non choke submission in men's UFC. Uh, this year, we made it all the way till June. It's only been really, since. yeah. I think this is the first one. That's crazy, huh? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Don't fact check. Me. Actually, try to if someone could fact check me on that. But I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nice. pretty sure. Well, hey, props to Kevin Holland back on the win column. Um, How'd you like the post fight interview? I liked it. He said, "I might be the best gatekeeper y'all have ever seen." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's so like, sick. I don't care as long as y'all keep me around, is what he said. I was like, dude, yeah, right on, dude. Have some fun with Kevin Holland. Yeah, have some fun. Meanwhile, out. Dustin Poirier's like, if I'm not fighting for the belt, what am I fighting for? Kevin Holland's like, I just like, I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're also probably in different parts of their life financially. Like, yeah. you know, uh, Poirier True. also says, like, dude, I, we're, when it comes to money, we're good on money. Like, we're good. Yeah. So, what am I fighting for? You know what I mean? Like, I need to be healthy. Uh, Holland, you know, needs to trick out his rides. He, yeah, he yeah. has, uh, he's obsessed with shoes, you know, uh, there, there's some things that he needs to take care of, I'm sure. Yeah. But yeah, big, good win for, uh, Kevin Holland. I don't like him up at 185. I think this is a decent matchup just because style wise and Oleg Sechek's also not a very big middleweight. Um, yeah. It worked out for him. Yeah. I'd like to see him at 170 though. Same. But there's a lot more same. grapplers. You know what? That Joaquin uh, Buckley fight looking a lot better too as Joaquin Buckley uh, continues uh, moving up in the rankings. It's looking oh, a lot yeah. better on uh, Holland's resume. That's a good you shot. You think if they, they run it back. It's a fun fight. Uh, and if you 
uh, if you check out, uh, if you don't follow Ghost on Twitter, you should because he does really cool animations. He has an animation of the Buckley finish from Kevin Holland where he snipes him, kills him, shoots Ooh. him backwards. He, when he hit Buckley, it, remember at the end of, uh, we always have to have a movie reference, but remember uh, at the end of uh, Django when they go on the rampage in the house and he yeah, shoots yeah. The, the, like, I think it's uh, DiCaprio's wife. And he shoots her, and she like flies back flies? out of the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's basically what happened. When he <laughs> <got butt. laughs> Brutal, nice, dude. Dude. nice. All right, <laughs> uh, I think this is where we're going to start skipping some fights here for the sake of time because we covered a lot of time just on the first uh, three fights. Yeah. So we're we're skipping uh, Nico Price Morono. We both picked Morono in that fight. Uh, we both didn't get that. We both pick. lost that one. We're we're skipping Randy Brown versus uh, Zaleski Dos Santos. We both picked Brown though. Hilarious tidbit yep. about that though. Um, this is the first event with the new gloves. Randy Brown did a YouTube review of the gloves uh, about a week ago when he first got them. He's like, I don't think they're going to stop eye pokes, uh, but I do like them. And then he proceeds to eye poke Zaleski Dos Santos <laughs> three times. He's like, let me show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, I told you it's not going to prevent it. <laughs> Hey everybody, Ramiro and Will here. Thank you so much for watching that short clip. It's just a small clip of what we covered this last Sunday. Yeah, if you want to check out the full fight card recap, uh, the link is in the description and it's going to be on screen at the end here. Uh, and don't forget to go back and watch our fighter interviews that we have. Uh, and don't forget to tune in live every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern, uh, and you can join in on the fun. Yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, Hit the notification bell, goes a long way. All right, everybody, thanks for watching that short clip from Story of the Fight.